I was doing stand-up, you know, just around the town, and I did a, a show. I was out with my friend Todd Barry, and we were doing sets around town together. And, uh, you know, I was pretty well-known already, and we both did back-to-back 15-minute -back sets at this club, the New York Comedy Club. And uh, he paid me 10 bucks, and it was a Saturday night. I didn't think anything of it, you know. And we were outside talking, and um, Todd somehow brought up that he, you know, mentioned that he got 60 bucks. <laughs> he just got $60, and I just got $10. We did the exact same time, back to back, on the same show. And so I went back inside, and I, and I asked the owner, Al Martin, and I said, Al, you, why did you pay me $10 and you gave Todd Berry $60? And he, you know, it was so perfect because he goes, uh, oh, did you want a $60 spot? It was symbolic. I didn't need $60. I mean, I, I but it's, um, you know, it's pretty shitty. I think the best person for the job should get jobs. I, I, I'm all for women having to work harder to prove themselves at this juncture, if that's the way it is in the world. But if you work a job and a man is working the same job, you should be getting paid the same. You know, I mean, there's lots of variables, like, you know, how long you've been there or this or that, and we're not, I don't think anyone's asking for something that's more than fair. If I tweet about anything women's rights related, equal pay or uh, health care or um, you know anything like that it's that 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 gets the most violent hate tweets back it's so odd it's just bizarre that and gun control tweets just it 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 creates such a rage in certain people, and of course that comes from fear. And you know, when you guys were talking about asking for more, it made me think about basketball. I play basketball, I've always played basketball, but I've been playing with mostly men, and when you do that, um, you tend to, every basket you miss is like missing 100 baskets. And that comes from inside. The, the guys I'm playing with aren't going, oh man, you know, they're not, they're thinking about their own shots. They're thinking about, and I realized that. And I put, you put so much pressure on yourself and you take it all so seriously. I mean, I love playing really hard, but um, I also love talking shit and joking around. And I realized um, you can't take a shot and miss and feel like you, it means you've missed a hundred shots and that you're burdening your team or something. The guys shoot and miss all the time, most of the time, and they get better. And um, you know, I'm old now, and uh, since I've realized that, and realized that it's come from inside me, how you think, what you think you deserve. You know, my therapist said, and I think about it all the time, you know, you, we don't get what we want, we get what we think we deserve. And I think as women, and as a whole, if we can understand what we deserve, and not just in a, I'm a diva, I'm, no, 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 no. We deserve quality lives with uh, equality and, maybe a control over our own human bodies without the government getting involved, to do whatever we get great at and do. And it has to come from inside and understanding that you deserve it and, and working to deserve it. I can't ask for like salt from a waitress without going like, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, there's something with just being able to ask for what you want politely, respectfully, you know, I mean, we get this way about love, you know, like, you deserve love. I deserve uh, to treat myself the way I would treat any stranger on the street, you know. Whenever I, if I catch myself, and I've gotten really good at not doing it, but if I catch myself going like, oh, oh, my thighs are disgusting, you know. I mean, I always just say like, oh, I'm strong and my body works. 
go ahead, ask for more.